Good morning. My name is Simon Chauvin. I'm a neurologist at the National Hospital Queen Square and Emeritus Professor at the UCL Queen Square Institute of Neurology in London, uh, which is a faculty of University College London. For the whole of my career in medicine, I have specialised in epilepsy and I've served in various positions in the International League Against Epilepsy, including as Editor-in-Chief of Epilepsia and also a Vice President of the League. I qualified in 1973 and have led the Epilepsy Research Group at Queen Square for over 30 years. The topic of my talk today is at the very heart of epilepsy. Um, the approach to the diagnosis and to the treatment of focal epilepsy in adults. This is a bread and butter topic for neurologists as almost all of us uh, have epilepsy as the most common and serious neurological conditions which we are asked to consult upon in our day-to-day -day practice. The talk will be in two parts. In the first, I will discuss the salient features of diagnosis of epilepsy, emphasizing the primary importance of, of taking a detailed and skillful history and of obtaining a witnessed account of a seizure. I will then move to those features of epileptic seizure, uh, those features of epileptic seizures uh, which help differentiate the condition from syncope and from psychogenic seizures, as these are the two most important and most common uh, conditions confused with epilepsy. And indeed, it has been estimated that in about 20% of cases, epilepsy is misdiagnosed. In the second part of my talk, I'll move to treatment, and I will discuss in brief outline the treatment both of newly diagnosed patients and also those with chronic epilepsy. <clears throat> I'll outline the factors which should be taken into account uh, in approaching therapy and I'll also provide uh, a couple of simple protocols for the treatment of newly diagnosed uh, and of chronic epilepsy. I'm not going to go into great detail about individual drugs um, but these, but queries about these may come up in the Q&A session, which will follow this talk. Uh, in my experience, these Q&A sessions often bring up fascinating questions, and so I'm looking forward to this. It's been fun putting this lecture together, uh, and I hope it will be enjoyable to listen to. It should also help your practice and most importantly, help your patients. I urge you therefore to listen to this and to help further the goal of the International League Against Epilepsy, which is for a world without epileptic seizures. Thank you. <laughs> 